day, a new start, and I don't know the rest of the words. Sam, are you not impressed? Good morning guys, good morning, how is everybody doing? I have been not present for like a week just because lots of things have happened, super busy. Woo. I just worked every day, like all day, so much. A lot of digestive problems with the doctor, new medicines, trying new things, back to old medicines. It's been a bumpy ride. We'll just say that in the dog story. Amazing. You guys, today, ugh, I'm not putting on makeup. I'm gonna try so hard not to put on makeup. This is my natural face and I hate it so much. I don't work today and I just don't wanna put on makeup because then I can't do this and this without messing up my makeup and it just feels so good to just smear your face, you know? Anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna see if I can not put on makeup. I have to go one place for a Bible study, but I'm just self-conscious of my face, so we'll, so I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if I can do it. That's the challenge today, no makeup. Accepting my natural face, pimples and all. Anyway, yes, I'm wearing a sweatshirt because Texas is bipolar, again, like literally hot, 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 hot. Yesterday was raining in like 40, 45, it was freezing. I just wanted to come on here and say good morning. My name is Steph Marie. If you are new, I know I have some new subscribers. And hello, this is my recovery journey. It's not a perfect journey. I share my struggles, a lot of TMI moments. Let's just be honest here because this is an honest recovery. So yeah, anyway. Yeah, I had my coffee this morning and my protein shake and I'm about to make some Oatmeal, I have slowly been adding in more and more oats to my oatmeal ratio. If you see my previous videos, I do like half wheat flakes, well, more like three-fourths wheat flakes, a fourth oats because in the past, oats had hurt my stomach. Um, I think they're starting to get better, I think. So now it's like half and half. Anyway, so I soaked them overnight in lemon juice like someone told me to do, and then I'm going to make my egg white protein oatmeal for breakfast. <music> So much. That's fine. We need lots of peanut butter. Mix it with flax seeds, egg whites, the half oats ratio, mixio, mixio, mix ratio, the bananas, maple syrup, a lot of peanut butter, um, some almond milk, and let's just try this out, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Mm. Mm. Peanut butter and bananas. I am a huge mungus fan. Let me get a good. So that's for breakfast. I'm gonna eat this now. Oh my gosh. I almost fell off the chair, you guys, because I'm like trying to get in the shot. This is ridiculous. The things I do for a good shot. Okay, I'm gonna eat this and I'll catch you guys later. 12 seconds later. I'm actually super proud of myself. I was like still wanting oatmeal, a little bit more hungry, so I just made myself a second bowl of oatmeal, but this time put chocolate cocoa powder in it and then chocolate almond butter, so yeah. We're gonna have this now too. Breakfast round two, spontaneous. Let's try some of this. This one's better, dang. Yum. Oh, that was really good. Done. I'm like really full, but really satisfied. It was good, it was good. Super flattering. Anyway guys, so I wanted to go on here real fast and talk about um, body image and body checking. A lot of people have asked me um, about that and that is, and like how to stop body checking. And I would love to say, here's how to do it. I have it figured out, this is what you do. But that would not be true because I have definitely not figured out how to stop body checking. I definitely have cut back on it. I definitely have learned other ways to cope, but I have not stopped completely because it's just so ingrained. I think, I think for a lot of us that are in recovery and that have been dealing with eating disorders for years, 
it's just it's just habit. You eat a meal and you immediately check. Whether it be going and looking in, at a mirror or it literally for me, a lot of times I'll eat and as I'm eating the meal, I kind of look down at my stomach. I feel my stomach. I suck in. I kind of want to see what the food is doing in the moment. Is it causing bloat? Where is it going? Like that's just stuff I do and I have to catch myself and stop doing that. I will not do this. What good will it benefit me? Because think about it. Right now, what, ask yourself, what is it going to benefit like how is it going to help me i'm going to look in the mirror and one or two things are going to happen you're going to look and you're going to hate it you're going to hate yourself you're going to be like oh my gosh you fat pig well you can't eat the rest of the day it's going to trigger thoughts and cause all of these emotions to rise up and behaviors to want to resurface and what is the point of that that's what we're trying so hard to not do to fight so that could happen so that's you don't want to go that way the other thing that could happen is you really do like what you see, which could be a good thing. But for me, sometimes it's a bad thing. Like if I see, I look in the mirror and say, wow, I do look super lean. Okay, well, I must have done something good. Um, I don't want to ruin this the rest of the day, so I'm not going to eat because I want to keep this figure. Whereas if I look in the mirror and it's all bloated, I'm like, well, what the heck? I might as well just eat whatever because I'm already bloated. Like, I just feel like either way, your brain will find something to pick at and find a reason. Maybe restrict or just do something for me at least. So whenever I look in the mirror, it's not usually a good thing. Whether if I like what I see or, or I don't like what I see, I, I don't have it down perfectly. I still body check. Um... And it's, it's getting less. Just the, the advice I have is stop doing it. <laughs> Maybe put something over your mirror. For me, I, I put um, a Bible verse on my mirror. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20. 1 Corinthians 10. 1 Corinthians 10, 31. Any quote, any Bible verse, anything that's going to help you not think about your body and not think about the food, but focus on what you should be focusing on. Something else. The other thing that I'm really having a hard time stopping doing is... Um, before I go to bed, like as I'm laying in bed, I didn't even realize I did this, but as I'm laying in bed on my back, I always would feel my hip bones. Like I would take my hand and I would just feel the space between my hip bones and my back, I guess, and just feel how protruding the hip bones were. Oh, bony and I could just feel the, the slope down to my stomach. Like... It was like, a, I don't know, it was just a reassuring, like, starting to reach down there so I could feel my hip bones. And it's like, no, stop it, no. Because I realized the other day when I did it, without thinking about it, there wasn't as much of a space there. They didn't protrude as much. They didn't, I didn't, my fingers didn't slope down. And I was like, oh, my, like it, it freaked me out, which is so wrong and so messed up. Um, and I just had to be like, wait. No, that's a good thing. You've gained weight. That's what's supposed to happen. So you have to, I have to just stop doing that because I'm not going to like what I feel. Most likely in recovery, your body image is going to suck most of the time. Let's be honest. Mine sucks most of the time. I feel bloated and constipated most of the time. And that is something you have to deal with. And as you keep going, it does get better. As you gain more weight, your brain becomes more healthy so that your body image will just get better and you're not in a starved state so you can think more logically and logically you'll realize, wow, it doesn't matter as much or I feel great in my body. It's crazy that as you gain more weight, you do start to feel better in your body. I did experience that when I recovered the first time before my relapse. So I do know that it does get better, but right now while it's not good and you're not feeling great and your body image sucks, just stay away from the mirrors the best you can. Don't feel your ribs. Don't feel your hip bones. Just it's not worth it. Um, and try to distract. I usually um, watch Netflix, read the Bible, go clean something. I love cleaning. It's my therapy, doing the dishes and stuff. So that's what I suggest doing. That's my advice on that topic. I hope that helps you guys. That's what helps me. Um, confession time. I put a teeny tiny little bit of mascara on my eyes. Just a teeny tiny little bit. I'm still wearing less than usual. I, I told my mom what I was going to do. I was like, yeah, I'm not wearing makeup today. And she was like, ew, Stephanie, don't go that far. Why would you do that? I was like, mom. Mom, what are you saying? Nah, she loves me, but it was funny. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go. Guys, I did some self-care and did my toenails. Look at that, is that cute? I tried to do like a, like a summer colors. I hate painting my toenails. Like I legit hate painting my toenails. Like it just takes too long. I'm too OCD, I do it wrong. I have to redo it, I have to fix it and it gets on my skin then I have to undo that and then I end up messing up the actual toenails. <laughs> No, 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 how did this even happen? No.
So for lunch, I'm gonna have a bagel, and I'm also gonna have a, like a little salad with some tahini dressing, but I am gonna make some mushrooms to put in the salad. And I think you can eat them raw, right? Can't believe I'm eating a mushroom raw. Never would've thunk, never would've thunk. Just a few, because I'm not going crazy with the mushrooms yet. I have been loving this organic unsalted tahini from Sprouts, but just drizzle it on there. I'll drizzle it on the salad as a dressing. I can't use and <laughs> Mommy, what do you want to say about mushrooms? Mushrooms are amazing. Mommy likes them. And Emily loves them. And Emily loves them. And you see them raw. I'm sauteing them right there with some carrots to put on the salad with this as a dressing because it's delicious. And and on the bagel. And this on the bagel. And this on the bagel. This lighting makes my face look horrendous with no makeup on. Yeah, mommy, you wanna tell them what you said about the no makeup? What did I say? Oh, don't do that. She said don't do that. They don't do that. <laughs> Put on makeup, it's good for you. Mm. Bowl of salad lettuce, and then what we do is we just all have the knife. But we just dip it in here, and get it off here, and we just drizzle. I'm gonna add the rest of the stuff on top and then put more dressing on. Yeah, and we like this. Now that the veggies are on, we take more tahini dressing. And we drizzle. Some mushrooms. They're not my favorite, but I kind of like them. And the heat dressing, so good. actually eating this as a snack real fast before I go in to my Bible study. So yeah, this is the kind blueberry vanilla and cashew. So it's delicious. Two hours later. Okay, so I just finished with the Bible study and I'm actually gonna have some snacks right now. I have this bag of like homemade trail mix that I made. Walnuts, almonds, dried ginger, dried apricots, um, dates. What else is in there? Some chocolate chips. So yeah, that's what I'm eating right now. Just thought I'd update y'all on the snacking sit. Does anyone else think like little walnuts look like brains? I do. You make me wanna roll my window down. Okay, just arrived at the school to pick up the boys and actually I'm like super hungry today. Well, okay, the days that I'm not constipated and that I've actually pooped, TMI, I'm actually more hungry, I feel hungry, it's amazing, it's wonderful. So anyway, I just had another blueberry pecan kind, well, oh, it's another kind bar, but the different flavor was blueberry pecan, so yeah. Second kind bar, third snack of the afternoon, and it's not even four o'clock yet, and I'm feeling good. Anyway, I'm gonna get the boys now. Okay, so I just got home from all the driving and the stuff and boys. So what I'm gonna have right now is my afternoon coffee. If you guys go to Starbucks much, you would know that every, like a certain amount of points, you get a free drink. So when you get the free drink, you can get the biggest, the bestest, the mostest, whatever drink that is. So of course, I get a Vente coconut milk, double shot, like the most expensive one there is, but I don't drink it all in one day. I just drink half of it one time and then half the other day. So I got that yesterday, and so today I'm gonna be having the other half of my Vente coconut vanilla latte. Beautiful. Say hello to the people. Hi people. How's it going? What's your wonderful insight you have for us today? Um, uh, don't procrastinate on your school. Oh, is that what you're doing right now? Yeah. I'm helping. Hold it, Jessica. Hold it still. I'm trying this banana and ice cream stuff. Oh.
beautiful. Not him. Him. Not him. Him. Not him. Watching the Lord of the Rings. She's literally the whiniest and most I'm not, scared I'm person dumpy. to watch movies with. I really, oh, not him. He's be ah him. Oh, not him. Not him. He's kind of cute though. He's cute. Where's my love? There he is, my one true no, love. No, no. no. yep. Well, mm -hmm. Yes, but no. I'm gonna go ahead and end off the vlog here. Not really much more is happening. We're just going to, we watched some of the Lord of the Rings and we're going to um, pause it there for now because it's getting kind of late. The thing about full days of eatings with me, especially at night when I get, like tonight I'm kind of having this extreme hunger a little bit, just where I'm like not really full, not really satisfied. So I literally had three bowls of ice cream um, and I and it's hard to get out my camera and vlog every time I nibble on something. So grabbed a few crackers downstairs, grabbed a handful of nuts, having half of a Rice Krispie treat. Like I've had all those things tonight, but I didn't pull my camera out each time to show you guys. But you know, there you go. That's what I had. Um, and I'm actually having. Actually, I had like half of this. I don't really think I'm gonna finish it actually, but I had half of this like protein Luna bar peanut butter. I'm just not really feeling it anymore. Maybe I'm full now. I don't know. Anyway, say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some insight on how to cope with um, body checking and how we don't need to be doing it and ways to not do it. I don't know. I'm still working through it, but that's it for tonight. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, a fabulous night, a fabulous morning. I hope you guys, what do I say, are just fabulous. And I will see you guys in the next video. Like, share, subscribe, all the fun stuff, and I will see you when I see you. Bye. Lunch. How does that help? It helps a lot. Apples and apple a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah, well. <laughs>